We continue to see this pressure when it comes to the property se sector, even as the broader reopening is underway in China. Morning, Heidi. Yes, I mean, this profit warning is really not a big surprise, frankly. Um, Sunak uh, is just one of many developers that has been struggling for more than a year now, two years really. Um, this crisis began in the middle of 2021. Uh, the company uh, posted a, a record loss for that year. Now, for 2022, it's forecasting a, or predicting a, a slightly smaller loss, uh, still, you know, $4, $4 billion. That's, uh, that's a, big, uh, a big loss. But really, you know, last year, we saw the crisis uh, deepen with home sales and prices slumping, uh, mortgage boycotts, uh, confidence among home buyers collapsing. And of course, Sunak itself uh, was one of many developers that defaulted on its debt. Even the stronger players like Country Garden uh, warning of its first uh, loss uh, since it was listed in 2007. So Sunak is not alone here. We thought we had turned the page on this a little bit, Russell, and, and we even got the Evergrande plan, you know, to make it seem like we were past all this. Is there more to come then? Yeah, I mean, things are actually looking up uh, this year uh, in the Chinese property sector. You have had a lot of stimulus coming in uh, on the demand side and the financing side from Chinese authorities. And that's just starting now to show through. We've had, we saw home sales rise in uh, January and February for the first time uh, in almost two years. Uh, prices also rose for the first time in 18 months. Um, but but really, um, you know, th the financing support uh, is, is only really for the stronger developers. The likes of Sunak and other defaulted developers aren't able to uh, access, access this extra financing that's coming in the form of bank loans uh, and bond issuances and stock issuances as well. And really, as you mentioned, um, you know, Evergrande and Sunak, they're focusing on um, really the main priority is uh, finishing up these uh, debt restructuring plans. Uh, so we saw earlier this week mm -hmm. uh, Evergrande released details of its proposal. Yes. And similar, uh, uh, Sunak has a similar proposal in, in mind as well, um, yes. swapping debt and extending debt. And it seems to be making progress with uh, with uh, bondholders with on that, that front.